think it's working. I think we're in business. Whoa, what is going on everybody? What is up, fan clan? I'm super excited for today's stream. I'm in a really, really good mood. The sun is shining. I hope you guys are all doing extremely well. Uh, we lost subscribe. <laughs> I posted uh, that we're giving away, we're adding one card to Astro Radiance giveaways with every new subscriber. And at the beginning it was 66,371. Three people got really mad at me for posting that. So uh, they, they left. So we are minus three. <laughs> on our uh, Astro Radiance, but that's okay. We do have, oh, we gained one back. We do have um, uh, 180 booster packs that we're giving away so far for Astro Radiance. So I think that stream is gonna be in two weeks from today. So it'll be right before the release of Astro Radiance. Guys, I opened up my booster box from the Pokemon Company International yesterday. And uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I just posted all these wrappers. Astro Radiance wrappers because they're still sitting at my feet. It was insane. It was absolutely insane. I absolutely loved it. You guys are going to really enjoy Astro Radiance. Now, I can't leak uh, any of the card lists or anything like that, um, but you guys will get the set list really soon because pre releases are starting up this weekend. So, um, Antonio, thank you so much for the $4.99 super chat. Hope everyone pulls some serious fire. Thank you so much. Also, huge shout out to Steven. Stanley, welcome to the fan clan. Thank you so much for becoming a member. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. Uh, can somebody tell me if, I'm not gonna lie, it took me over a year to figure out uh, how to add a live subscriber count to my stream. Uh, can you tell me if that works? Um, yeah, it took me over a year to figure it out. Finally, I figured it out. So, uh, if I unsubscribe and resubscribe, will that count? No, unfortunately not. It has to go. We're all, we're minus one right now. <laughs> minus one. Um, we're at, now we're back to even. 66371. So we see it. Awesome. Let's go. Uh, today's going to be a lot of fun. I'm just going to, like I said, I'm in a really good mood. And that could change after the Bucks game tonight. We'll see how it goes. But I'm just going to assume things are going to go well. Uh, I'm just going to have fun. Giveaway stuff. This is going to be the last stream until our Astral Radiance one. Um, until our Astral Radiance stream in a couple weeks. And to enter that, you'll just have to be like in the stream because we'll just do like a Gleam giveaway where I'll just open up 10 packs per person um, and then we'll just choose all the winners at the end. So what I'll do is I'll label one and it'll just give you time to enter throughout the entire live stream. And then at the end, however many, let's say we have to give away 500 packs. That's an insane amount, but 500 packs. There'll be 50 winners each getting 10 packs. Um, You'll just have to register on Gleam and then boom, you know. Uh, the Astral Radiance video for the Booster Box will go live on Friday morning on this channel. So definitely, definitely check that out. If you want to see uh, more Astral Radiance being given away, uh, just share the link. Tell your friends. Come subscribe to Danny Phantom. Hit that like button. Uh, do what you got to do. We're going to start things off with the man of the hour who just super chatted, Antonio M. Thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it. Oh, thank you so much, Jonathan. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, we're just going to have fun today. We're going to break some packs, probably just give away more packs that like just do extra fail packs. I don't know. You never know. You never know how things are going to go. Battle styles, Chilling Rain and Shining Fates. We'll start out with some battle styles. I just picked up a bunch of random fail packs. Got some Evolving Skies at my feet, Eevee Heroes, Hidden Fates, Brilliant Stars. We're just going to have some fun. Just enjoy it. That'd be over two cases of booster boxes. Yeah, let's do it. 500, let's go. Get me to the point where I have to give away 500 booster packs of Astral Radiance. Why not? 5K packs, 5,000, let's do it. Then I have to get, <laughs> what do I have to get? We, Daniel, we have to get to 75,000. We've only got a couple weeks left and then I got to mullet it up, right? That's that's the rule. We've got uh, an Entei Hollow to start out. My camera is just kind of falling apart. So as you can see, it's fading. You can see my tablecloth. Pretty cool, huh? Not. Uh, Jellicent. I'm going to put Entei back in this pile here. Battle Styles. Come on, Battle Styles. Today is Ray Day. I'd be okay pulling a Ray. Marowak. Let's see if we can get something good. First, first person. Antonio M. We got to get something good for Antonio M. Not off to a good start. Marowak Battle Styles is uh, not my friend right now. Danny, could you save my packs to the end? Sure, Charlie, I can do that. I uh, I can definitely do that. I'll make sure that yours come up at the end. Greetings. 
I know that I have to do Skies packs next. Antonio, drum roll, please. Let's get something better. Chilling Pain is right here. Oh, thank you so much. Banksy Flash. Thank you very, very much. How do you get drawn? It'll all be random on Gleam. Gleam will take care of all of it for us. So the details for that will happen in two weeks during the stream. We need to start the stream off strong. Yes, we do. And we're not. <laughs> but we'll just fix it. I don't know what's going on. Chilling rain equals chilling pain. Battle styles. I don't know what the name is for battle styles, but that wasn't good. I'm just going to keep going here and pull a cavort knight. Uh, baby shining, at least. So that's something. Send Antonio good luck. Keep it going. Come on, shining fates. Zarud. All right, so that's not good enough. Let's keep going. We got some more Battle Styles packs over here. Maybe he's shooting for something from Battle Styles. Do they make display boxes for ETBs? They do. Um, some companies will make the acrylic ones. A lot of people, in order to save money, will just go to Target and in like the series, in like the container aisle there's like this little cereal uh container that kind of doubles as an etb ah tabu coco v full art let's go so uh that's an option there we go antonio we got a hit we got a full art v in the house much better than the other one santa conda hollow Asteroid single pack check lane blisters have been released early at Target. Wow, that's super cool. Target cereal storage totes are perfect, says Dusty Snorlax. I would not doubt Dusty Snorlax. That is a smart, smart guy. All right, so we got another hit. We're going to do a couple <laughs> hidden fates because why not? I'm in a very good mood today. Hey, Curlia, Wigglytuff. Let's keep it. Keep it going. Fail packs reign supreme. Hey, Dan C, what's going on, my friend? So long as it isn't the celebration's PC exclusive. Must not fit too well in there, huh? Zorua shiny. Nice. Fail packs is given away. Jesse and James Hollow. All right, so we got some decent hits, at least. Some extra hits. A Tapu Coco. Full art is really nice looking. Got my booster box of Chilling Rain from the Coliseum yesterday and pulled the Galarian Zapdos V alternate, alternate art and Shadow Rider Calyrex V Max alternate art in the same box? <laughs> oh, I wish I could pull that well. That's sick, nice pulls. Super good. All right, congratulations, Antonio. We got some extra hits for you. It's all about the fail. Giannis will put up a 40 spot tonight. Uh, I told my wife that he was going to go off for uh, 40. Said it was going to be a 40-point triple-double. I said 41, 16 rebounds, 12 assists. <laughs> really, the Bucks just need to shoot a heckin' lot better because they have not been hitting their shots. I did not know. I did not necessarily think Chris Middleton was going to be a giant giant miss because he's been struggling so much but he's a giant miss right now sky is up will the astro Radiance booster boxes ship out on the 27th or will they be shipped a bit earlier uh the goal is to have them arrive by the 27th it's always the goal but freight delays are a thing and we were able to do it look at that dream league in the house uh we were able to do it with um the last set the trillion stars uh so it should be should be by the 27th celtic's gonna win though oof duh. What is Glee? Ah, oh, let's go! <laughs> Blastoise, what? There we go. There you go, Sky. We pulled a couple of those last week. A little bit off center. Not bad. The Blastoise boy. Um, what is Gleam? Gleam is just a, a site that lets you do giveaways. It does all the randomizations for you. You've gained seven subscribers. Let's go. That's seven cards. It's almost a booster pack. I'm counting on you guys. Counting on you guys to up the sub count. We got to get to that 100,000 this year and then give away, do some free vintage booster box breaks. That's what we're going to do at 100K. We're doing two vintage booster box breaks for 
free. Birthday Pikachu and Surfing Pikachu, nice. Just opened 12 packs of Brilliant Stars and only got one hit, oofta. Uh, I got uh, news about Brilliant Stars, the restock, the Wave 3 is um, pretty small, unfortunately. Pretty small, uh, very small actually. I do not think Brilliant Stars pricing is going to get impacted that much. I think we're gonna continue looking at 135 to 140 for a booster box for a while. How long is the turnaround time for Coliseum booster boxes? Uh, usually I ship everything next day, one to two business days. Uh, usually it just takes me one. Birthday Pikachu. All right, we're opening up some Dream League. I don't know what to expect in here, but hopefully we get, what is it, the Ashes Pikachu or Reds Pikachu in here? Let's get something good here. Ooh, nothing there. All right. I have really bad luck with Brilliant Stars, but great luck with everything else. I have really bad luck with uh, everything. <laughs> Just about, except Astro Radiance so far. I am one for one on good booster boxes. And you can see that this upcoming, ah, Excadrill. Uh, Friday. Hey, the pineapple! Thank you so much for the 9.99 super chat. Excited for my Astro Radius pre-order from you. Go Hawks! Go Pack! Go! Good luck, Bucks! Thank you so much. I think I just printed your label last night. I don't have the product yet. Ah, Salgaleo and Lunala hype! Look at that. That's a beaut. That's a beautiful card. <sighs> Uh, for the last couple weeks, every time I tried to get in on the pack break, it says, sorry, no products found. Are you just selling out that fast? Last week was a little different because I didn't put the, pro the boosters on sale until late Wednesday night. Uh, so if you weren't like on Wednesday night, they went out really fast. And I, I mixed it up a little bit based off of suggestions from the chat. I added a couple of um, Japanese products and stuck more into modern, less vintage. Or not vintage, but... Um, you know, older packs that are more expensive. I, I stuck away from those and kept more with Modern. Uh, and this week I haven't updated yet because we won't have a stream next week because I am not going to be available. Sil Valley GX, not bad, two hits. We'll take it. We'll take it. Not bad for 10 packs, not bad. There you go, Sky, not bad. printed my label last night getting excited yep there we go i like to prep everything in advance <laughs> it's a lot of work so trying to get labels printed in advance make a bunch of boxes in advance make sure all the supplies are available just so that way it's not uh quite as much what is your time zone i am uh central did i miss mine no kurt you're good yours won't be for a while i think you're near the back of the pack sorry i could move it up if need be oh wait i lied yours is right here <laughs> I lied, yours is next. Kurt M, everybody, ladies and gentlemen. Say hi, Kurt M. We are up nine subscribers. Hidden Fates and Brilliant Stars. Let's get some big hitters. How about two Charizards for Kurt M? That'd be sweet. What is the turnaround time for bulk trading for booster boxes? Depends on the bulk trading. So if you're doing Astral Radiance, it'll be when the product releases. If you're trading in for something else, uh, usually it takes two to three business days, I'd say, to sort the bulk and verify accounts. And then you'll get an email uh, to go over your accounts and make sure we have your selection chosen correctly. And then it'll be shipped usually the next day. So I'd say to be safe after you ship it a week to 10 days until you get your booster box. Uh, when is Astro Radiance pre being shipped? As soon as we get them in stock. Um, so you get them hopefully by release day, if not before. Lucario Hollow. Any news on Evolving Skies reprint yet? No. <laughs> I'm running out of booster boxes to give away. That's a lie. I have enough for a little while <laughs> yet. I was really expecting an announcement to come soon. Brilliant stars. Just nothing but blundering right now. You can always physically go in and trade the bulk. That's what I did. Nice. There you go. And an Empoleon Hollow. Well, we're getting some Hollow hits. How much for one booster box? That is a very loaded question. One booster box is in in bulk trade. One booster box, um, like as far as cost goes. Vaporeon. 
Yuck so far. It's all right, Kurt. We'll turn it around. We make our own luck. Oh, I sent 12,000 cards out last Monday. No word yet. So it depends on, 12,000 is a lot to sort through. So we probably got it near the end of the week. We should probably hear back today or tomorrow, I would assume. Do you think Brilliant Stars booster boxes will drop as much as Chilling Rain? No, because the restock just came and it's very, very small. Alchemy? Hidden Fates is next. But we're not done with Brilliant Stars yet because I didn't like those hits. So we're gonna keep going. I broke a mirror last week, then I pulled a new Sombriad V-Back. See, that's what I should do. Let me just... Hey, Bolta! Ah, double banger! <laughs> Let's go! Um, I'll just break mirrors. And then we can pull better. Bolton V, though. That's a cool one. It's a nice little trainer gallery card. And an Agron V. Should I wait for Evolving Skies reprint to open packs for alt arts or buy the singles from Evolving? Um... I mean, if you want to have some fun right now, you can get... I think you can still get the the hanger blisters from Pokemon Center for $3.99, right? So, it's not that much to get free shipping. You could buy, you know, 36 of those and go nuts. Have fun. Uh, but I would not pay $180 for a booster box or $170, whatever it is right now. All right, let's try our Hidden Fates packs. See what we get here. Favorite card from Brilliant Stars, the Umbreon VMAX, by far. Hey, look at the Eevee shiny. Nice, that's the one you want. Eevee, Charmander, Charmeleon, super hype. There we go. Look at that. Nice pull, Kurt. Haven't had great pulls from Brilliant Stars. It's really hit or miss. Really hit or miss when you buy a product that is not, you know, a booster box. Not bad. Uh, let's do one more hidden fakes just for the, just because why not? Plenty of sleeve boosters out in the wild. See, there you go. Sleeve boosters. Still available. Uh, nerfing. All right, well, we got an Eevee, which is really good. Got a couple trainer gallery cards and a hitter from Brilliant Stars. Not bad. Making our own luck. It is a pretty card. All right, Kurt, thank you very much, my friend. Pull my man Eevee. I'm looking for an EVV. EVV? Like the promo EVV? That's a thing, right? Hey, Dr. Gamester in the house. That's in decent pulls. Gold Arceus V Star hype. That is hype. Moving on, uh, Laura N. Excited for EV Heroes. Yeah, we got some EV Heroes today. Got some EV Heroes fail packs too, if need be. Laura N's got some Battle Styles and some Vivid Voltage and some Cosmic Eclipse. Let's go. Hangers can be better than booster boxes. It's all luck based. All luck based for sure. You could have a great stretch of some hangers for, for certain. Steelix Hollow. Guys, if you are just getting here, if you could do me a favor and hit that like button. It goes a long way for the algorithm. Share the stream. We're giving away one Astral Radiance card for every new subscriber. So we're at 14 subscribers. 14 additional subscribers. It's another booster box. Tyranitar, or another booster pack. We are at... Um, what, 181 booster packs now that we're giving away? Keep it going. Oh, thanks, Andy. I appreciate that, my friend. Thank you so much. Zara Aura Hollow. What are your thoughts about new sets with a very low hit rate and the older sets where you can pull a lot of the chase cards, like the value of these boxes when vintage is... Uh, can you, I don't know what you mean by that exactly, because the, the hit rates are actually way better in modern, but when you factor in the fact that it's ultra rare, like if you compare modern sets to like black and white where you're only getting four or five hits per box, 
Like that was rough. If you're talking like old vintage where it was hollows and hollows were the hits and you could get 12 base hollows out of a booster box, you know, one and three. Uh, I mean, obviously huge, huge difference there. It's, it's frustrating for sure, but I think there's a lot more product that Raikou, amazing rare, that is getting dispersed right now, dispensed, distributed. So I think that Brilliant Stars had decent hit rates, especially with the trainer gallery. For sure. And I think that was a step in the right direction. Oh, baby. Volcarona GX. All right. Well, it's a hitter. What's going on, Sleepy Goblin? How are you, my friend? Comparing to Watsy. Yeah, it's it's difficult. I mean, back then, people didn't buy, you know, booster boxes the way they buy booster boxes now. So I think Pokemon has, has learned a lot, you know, from who their target audience is. Have you seen that Gengar character card? Yes. Have you seen that Snorlax character card? Holy buckets. <laughs> That thing looks amazing. Oh my goodness, let's go! Charizard and breaks in. Laura N with the Zard pull. Four hits. Woo! Not too shabby. One more. Do you think it'll be banned in English? Ah, uh, it could be. It could be. Phantom, best card, but uh, nothing else in that pack. Not bad. Four hits, pretty good. Definitely above average. Boom! Nice little Charizard and Brakeson. We take those hits. Thank you very much, Laura N. That Snorlax is so unbelievably good looking, yes. Even the RK9, I was a little bit... I don't know what my expectations were because I was so excited about the idea of an RK9. Um, like character card or ultra rare. Uh, I was a little bit like let down, but I'm sure once I see it in person, I'll be like, okay, this is stunning. I need a binder full. Up 15 subs. Let's go. Not really a Volcarona fan. This cards always look great. I agree. I agree. Good observation. Philip P. I saw you in here before, Philip. Which card could be canned? Uh, bam. The Gengar has, um, what is it? The lower right-hand corner? Oh, we got Guardians Rising, Darkness Ablaze, Celebrations, and a Dream League. Can you only place an order when stream is offline? Right now, there is no pack break until for at least a few weeks. Zacian V. So I will let everybody know in my Discord uh, when I plan, and probably on YouTube too, but uh, if you're not a member of the Discord, definitely join the Discord. Uh, if uh, Dr. Gamester or Mocha could post the Discord, that would be amazing. Uh, but I'll let everybody know when the hacks go back up, when they go live again. Which set are you looking forward to more, Pokemon Go or Astral Radiance? Um, ooh. It was Pokemon Go until I opened up my booster box for Astral Radiance. And then I was like, I really want to open more Astral Radiance. So I think while the set list of Astral Radiance might seem a little bit underwhelming, some of the cards I think are, and if the pull rates are true to that box, and I'm sure that box that I opened is just better than average, um, it's still gonna be a lot of fun for a lot of people. Hi, do you remember me? Manta Potter. Yeah, sure, of course. I remember everybody. Chandelure, how are you doing? Chandelure Hollow. Philip, come on, let's get something out of your Dream League pack. Oh, the, are you talking TC Pfeiffer? Are you talking about the, the Pikachu promo? Because that was super hype. Oh, hair dear, Stoutland. All right, let's keep going. Why not? Here's some evolving skies. Now you have me excited for my pre-order. Yeah, I think you should be. Um, And like, watch the booster box. Upside down, hop it. Uh, watch the booster box. I don't know. You guys will you guys will be able to tell when you watch multiple openings. But the box is really good, and uh, the radiant cards definitely add to an already like really cool thing that they did with Trainer Gallery. So I'm I'm a fan. Tomas, thank you so much for the five dollar super chat. In the last twenty booster box from packs from Brilliant Stars, 
I had really bad luck. How can I get myself to the draw? Um, it's, I mean, that's the thing. It's just all luck. Look, I just opened up three evolving lies packs and got absolutely nothing. That's the, I mean, it's modern Pokemon. You know, it's, it's tough. It's very tough. Sometimes it works. That's why I like booster boxes. Uh, because even though it's not a guaranteed hit rate, it's, it's something. You know, it, it feels like it's more of a guaranteed hit rate. 13th for that. Yeah, the uh, 13th. So this Friday on YouTube in the morning uh, will be my Astral Radiance box. Double the shift read. Double the pain. Moving on to Hidden Fates, Philip. Would you say pull rates might be comparable to Brilliant Stars? I think they're going to be slightly better than Brilliant Stars. Slightly better. What's the rarity level of the Radiant cards? I mean, it depends on if you want to call them Ultra Rares or not, but they are located in the Reverse Hell Spot. No hits in your Arceus figure box. At least the Arceus is hype. Dartrix, baby shiny. Philip, we're just going. Oh. <sighs> Let's go! Moltres and Zapdos and Articuno Rainbow Rare. That makes me feel a lot better. That's a good looking card. Boom. Nice! Nice! Alright. There we go, Philip. Thank you very, very much for your support. Is a trainer gallery subset confirmed for Astro Radiance? Yes, it is. Yeah, the only thing that hasn't been leaked yet are the um, the Trainer Gallery cards that will be in there. I mean, you're going to see them real soon, I'm sure. Probably Friday um, at the latest. You'll see the ETB booklet coming out in full force. Jeremy S. Are the Radiant cards underwhelming visually like some of the photos that have been... Uh, it, they remind me a lot of the old Radiant cards. The old Secret Rare Radiant cards. So I don't think they're necessarily underwhelming. How many... I think I gave you double. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, maybe I'm right. Is this right? Jeremy, let me look at your order. Did you get four Guardians Rising? It's weird to me that they were in st separate spots. Oh, do do. Charizard Hunter. Uh, two Fusion Strike. I gotta get you two Fusion Strike. Oh well, we'll just add them to the list. Caught it that time. Boom. Look at that. Bought two cases of Brilliant Stars, Building Battle pre release, opened one, paid 120 each. With promo. That's not bad. That's really good, actually. Hey, oh, Serena V. Let's go. Do the Radiant cards have texture? I believe they do. David M, what's going on? I believe they do. I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think back to it. Oh. But I think they do. Guardians Rising. Three boosters waiting for me for next Monday. Monday. Nice. Come on, Guardians Rising with cash. I remember opening up so many Guardians Rising back in the day, just hoping to pull a Tapu Lele. Come on, Tapu Lele! I mean, it was... There's a secret rare, what is it, double colorless energy in this as well? Hey, wishy-washy, full art! Very cool. I miss the old textured cards. Up 19 subs! Woo! It's up to you guys. Share the stream. Oreo, but yeah, pulling um, Tapu Lele's. That was always the goal. Such a big deck card. Lilligan. All right, we're opening up some Dream League. 
What's your favorite card from Brilliant Stars and Battle Styles? So Battle Styles would be the alternate art Tyranitar. From Brilliant Stars would be Umbreon VMAX from a Trainer Gallery subset. Although Ninetales, one of the most beautiful Pokemon. Yeah, the, um, what was it though? I like the one, is it Lost Thunder where it's the pink? Hello, Reshiram and Zekrom. Let's go. There we go. What is going on, Tommy? I think the Alolan, I think it was the pink background one for the Alolan Ninetales. Really, really, really pretty. Love that card. Ah, oh, wishy-washy secret rare. <laughs> Jeremy, do you like wishy-washy? Because wishy-washy likes you. Boom, look at that. Ah, oh, speaking of character rares, nice pull. Oh, super cool. Do you think English stores will get a premium collector box for Pokemon Go? Raichu. All right, moving on to Cosmic Eclipse. And before Lily Full Art, that would be would have been so cool. Still have some more packs yet. From Dream League. Rockruff and Palosane. Let's try the Blastoise pack art. I need that Tyranitar. So many cards that I need. I'm right there with you. It's tough to trying to chase Master Sets right now. Excadrill and a Flygon, let's go! Oh my goodness, Jeremy getting all the hits. Holy buckets. Excadrill and a Flygon. Way to go, Jeremy. I think it's been a minute for Jeremy, too. I love Wishy Washy. Got every card and a Wishy Washy binder. That's really cool. Phantom, cradley. All right, not bad, though. Look at that. One, two, three, four, five, six hitters? That's good. That's awesome. Good for you, Jeremy. Bang, bang. I like that mic. Double banger. Just bought a booster pack from you, a fusion strike to round out my personal collection of booster box. No, oh, nice. Very cool. Double bangers are always fun. You know it. Hopefully we get some for you too, Roger. I don't remember what your packs are, but I'm hoping. Double buckets. Why don't I say double buckets more often? Is anybody going to Secaucus, New Jersey next week for the regional? Hoping to see some people there. Danny C! Chilling pain, you are testing me. Danny C, we're gonna pull something good. Not afraid of chilling pain. Let's do it. Nothing. Darn it. You can't put energies towards the booster, but unfortunately not. There's too many out there. Too many out there. Bulk is rough right now. What's the plan for your next video? Uh, tomorrow is going to be the Toys R Us promos. Woo, Galarian Articuno V. And then uh, Sunday will be, or Friday will be the Astral Radiance Booster Box. Sunday will be the Astral Radiance ETB. I gotta figure out something for next week, Tuesday. Um, and then I'm gonna do, I don't know, do you guys, part of me thought about maybe doing a couple of live streams while in the booth in Secaucus, if you guys wanna get a feel for like the regional Pokemon regional setup. I thought it might be fun to do that. Uh, and I'm going to do a couple vlog type content videos uh, from Lipert V from Secaucus. Uh, I think that'll be fun. Just what it's like to run a booth, kind of interact with the players a little bit. You know, whatever, whatever the case may be. Do some vlogging from the actual regional. From a vending perspective, we'll go back, we'll talk to um, maybe some of the Pokemon employees. You know, figure out See the stream set up, things like that. It'll be a good time. Hey, Ice Rider Calyrex V. We've got three hits from Chilling Pain. So I'll Chilling Pain and immediately <laughs> looked at his fail pile. Don't need it. Where are you? You got three hits. We still got four packs left. What's going on, Cheese Juice? So there's some news about Evolving Skies. Now, some people are saying that there is a reprint. 
um, because they have uh, more packs out there. Like obviously Walmart had like these three pack hangers. Um, and that, I mean, yeah, sure, we can call that a, a reprint. We can label that a reprint, but I'm still gonna keep giving boxes away until Ice Rider Calyrex VMAX, let's go, until an extra actual booster box reprint happens. So more packs out there, but still not uh, more booster boxes, unfortunately. You are my top two Poketubers. It's the Chris. Thank you very much. Who's the other one? I want to make sure I approve. Well, all right. Do, 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 do. Last pack. Magic. Nope. Serena. But still, four hits. Not bad for Chilling Pain. Four out of ten ain't bad. We'll take it. It could mean a Moltres. <laughs> I'll see you in your dream. Oh, nice! Stop by the booth, Danny. Come say hi. Thank you very much, Danny C. Deep Packet Monster, Pat? Ooh. Pat's gonna have some fun coming his way. I have um some Astral Radiance for Pat. And he doesn't know it yet. But there's going to be something else. It's going to be fun. Um, Paul N. With some vivid voltage. Let's get that. Chonkachu. We've pulled one before. Danny Dantump and Real Breaking Nate. Nate is such a nice guy. I remember meeting Nate back in uh, the regional in Madison. Ah! Colossal VMAX. Uh, I think it was 26, 2017? a uh, while back. He was up and coming then. Pretty small on YouTube at the time. But I remember meeting him there. Such a nice guy. Where's my revert? There's a stuck. Come up. Ugh. Hey. <laughs> what is going on? Vivid Voltage is such a pain sometimes. Celebi. Sometimes that texture just gets stuck. Celebi, amazing, man. Here we go. Few who is really excited about Astro Radiance. Um, I mean, it's 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 not bad. I had a lot of fun opening it. Dusk Nor Hollow. Every hit, every pack producing something. Let's keep it going. <sighs> Lucario. All right. Who's your favorite Poketuber, Danny? I don't know. That's tough. I like a lot of Poketubers. Mostly because I, I like... They're really nice. They're just really nice people to interact with. Leon, there's a lot. Like uh, Seismic Shock and Dr. Applesauce and Poke Rev. I mean, there's a... I could go on all day. You know, a lot of people who just make content. Um, getting to know them, really, really good people. Yeah, I'm Mega. Um, obviously, Pat from Deep Pocket Monsters. Lots of cool people out there. Two dogs in the house. Ooh, another Colossal. Another Colossal VMAX. All right. Max Mofo, sure. Max Mofo is good, very entertaining. And uh, down to earth, keeps it real. I got Astral pre-ordered for 115. Not bad. I think that's what we sold at or are selling at. Garbador. All right, Darkness Ablaze. Let's see if we can get anything else. We got three hits. Already above average. Hey, and a Grim Snarl V Max. Way above average. The hits are flowing this week. There we go. Three V Max. Not even a regular art. Just three V Maxes and an amazing ring. I watch all those guys too. They're good. It's just fun, like, to get to know different people in the community that share your, your passion, your love for the hobby. That's what it's all about. 110. I agree 145 is too much. Yeah, it's early on yet where stock is readily available. So we'll see We'll see how things go. I do think once people start opening it, it's going to be a good set. Uh, but obviously with Pokemon Go right on its tail it'll be interesting to see how the next few months go because we have july with pokemon go and then august is dark origins or whatever it's called caravan 
Curvin R, you're next. We got some battle styles for Curvin R. Just started playing TCG online. Any quick tips? Um, have fun with it. <laughs> Go to uh, Limitless, uh, Limitless TCG and the website and look at some decks, kind of look them over, customize them a little bit, make them your own. Have fun. The Krasma V, it's a lot of fun to play the game. A lot of theory. Uh, make sure to, when you're playing the game, make sure to know your deck really well. Look at your discard pile uh, as often as you can. Look through your deck when you're doing search items multiple times. So that way you can see what cards are going to be available. Kingdra, make use of your resources. Don't be afraid to draw through your deck. Maximize your resources. Any advice on becoming a Poketuber? Yes, stay true to yourself. Make content that's important to you and never change. Primate! That's what's important. Don't cater. Stay true to you. Don't use the trade system right away. <laughs> there you go, Dr. Gamester. Hello! Ah, Rapid Striker Shifu V Full Art in the house. Let's go! Woo! We're using up sleeves like crazy. I went Ultra Pro Matt this week. Mix it up a bit. Mocha Wolf, cool name, Max Wolf. Mocha and Max. What are the chances? Doo -doo. Oh, and a Rapid Striker Shifu V. Regular art. Let's go. Will you be able to get the Precious Collector Box? Yes. Wickus, yes. We have a lot of product coming out. We have um, the Juniper Box has come out the 20th, the 20th next week. And then the 27th is not just um, Astral Radiance, but it's also the Cleaver V-Star boxes. Nice pull. Nice pull. Thanks, Jonathan. Two more packs. Already three pulls. Already above average. So you trade your cards into packs. Yes, agreed. The Arceus figure collection box already feels like you're winning just with the Arceus V, doesn't it? Garbage. <laughs> Is there an opening I can buy packs for right now? Not right now. We are, uh... Ah, Necrozma V to end it. Another Necrozma V. Uh, we're taking a hiatus for a few weeks because of uh, Secaucus Regionals and the uh, release of Astral Radiance. So we'll do a special Astral Radiance stream where we give away uh, packs. No purchase necessary, because we're just giving them away. We got two new booster packs to add. So we have 23 additional subscribers from the stream to go along with our 180 booster packs that we were already giving away. Definitely give away at least a case. Favorite XY era set? That's a good question. Um, Flashfire is good. Uh, but I'm going to go with Phantom Forces because of how amazing the um, uncommons are in the set. Michael G, I saw you in here before. Let's go. Uh, but like VS Seeker and then Manectric's in there. I love Manectric. Evolutions, Shining Fates. Let's we'll start out with Shining Fates. Michael G's been on a heater, a real heater recently. But what if I want to give you my money? <laughs> uh, there's other stuff you could order, but just nothing that's getting opened right now. Ditto V, right away from Michael G. JDB lives with cardboard. What's going on? Thank you so much for being here. Happy Mike. What's going on, fan claim? Do you still have the jet black? I believe I do, yeah. Oh, Sinistia and Delmize. Let's go Michael G with the double banger as he likes to say bang bang that's two buckets of holiness three hits two packs like those odds OC very too heavy really you should send me a picture of that legendary so I can see would it qualify for like an OC grade because that would be pretty cool it's always fun with those promo cards when they're OC obviously not playable but makes it makes it extra unique. Crobat V. Michael G is just on fire. Entire case of ES when it came out got zero alternate R cards. Oh, that's rough. 
That's rough. Ah, Eternatus V Max. Let's go. There you go, Mike. What are you doing? Where is this all coming from? Holy buckets, the black and gold. Let's do it. Oh, Whew. Manaphy. Bang, bang. Chief Keep approves. Double buckets. Bangarang time. <laughs> oh, Bangarang was great. Ah, indeed, V Shiny. Nice pull. Mike, that was a good run of packs for Shining Fates. Let's see if we can get something out of evolutions. Incoming Charizard. Let's do it. Come on. Nidoran. Oh, Dragonite EX. Woo. Woo. Mike's on a heater. Let's try the pack trick. Five taps. That's the hollow Charizard pack trick. Four taps is the reverse hollow. Five taps is the hollow. Nidoran? Oh, <laughs> that was the Pidgeot EX pack trick. Dang, Mike. There's a hit in every pack. Wowzers. Wowzers. Nineteen packs and thirteen. Yeah, I saw somebody post the other day. Rock Scrit? Oh, Arcana! I saw the fire bike. <laughs> oh, but still ten packs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight hits. Crazy good. Uh, I saw. Where was it? I, I think it was on Twitter, where somebody posted that they bought fifty hangers. Twenty-six were white codes. Three alternate art V maxes. Absolutely insane. I don't know if. Um, See, it's always just so interesting. That's why I obsess over pull rates so much and record so much content on pull rates. Um, it's always, it's, it's just always interesting to see what packs make, what product makes the best sense to open. Maybe they, uh, maybe hangers are just better. Hey, the Moody Artillery Fan Clan member for two months. Let's go. Thank you so much, my friend. Purina one. Elijah, you're still around, Elijah. Let's go. You're up. Inside the gut. Let's keep the heat rolling. You got some chilling pain and some fusion strike out. Some cosmic eclipse and vivid voltage. Some shining fates. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, Elijah. All the sword and shield air chase cards for each set. Compare the pull rates to see which one. Oh, I could probably do that. I do have all that information broken down. Chilling pain. Pack number two. The Billion Stars data collection is still ongoing, by the way. Dr. Gamester, shout out to you. Greeting, Hollow, for just being you. Should we do one for Astral Radiance, too? That's a lot of data to keep track with. I'm scared. Music about to end? Espion, you always know. You're just so smart. You're always on top of the game for me. Thank you. I was going to remember to do that, too. Fusion strike out. Water energy is a good sign. Not right there. Something changed with evolving skies. I don't know. I mean, it's it's tough because you would assume that they print a lot of these cards uh, right away. We're just gonna keep going with fusion strike for a little bit until we pull something. Next pack magic. First one. Hey, nice CGC pristine ten. Let's go. That's super cool. <laughs> Chili and Cillin and Crest Rainbow Rare. There we go. That's better. Woo! Fail packs for the win. There you go, Elijah. Now we got some vivid voltage time. 66,400. You guys are way too nice. Thank you so much. 100,000 is on the horizon. We're going to get there. All because of you guys. All because of you guys. You guys are amazing. I am probably going to cry when it happens. Just a heads up. Shining face. Hey, Kyogre, amazing rare. Let's go. Now I have two copies. Two copies of the Chili Cillin and Cress. Rainbow rare, nice. Next pack, Magic Jonathan. You just knew. Are you psychic? 
professor's research. Cosmic Eclipse incoming. Give us something good. Come on, Cosmic. Coughing. Wall Rhine. Pack number two. Baby. Hey, another Volcarona GX. All right. Not bad. Three hits. Oh. Plus a hidden face pack. Because why not? It's sunny. It's sunny out. It's nice out. So why not? Oh my god! <laughs> Glacia GX! <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh! That's what it's all about. Woo! Glaceon GX. Full art shiny. Let's go. Aaron Chase, thank you so much for the membership. Two months. Sending love to the fan clan and you, Danny. Oh, thank you so much, my friend. Really appreciate you. Look at Glaceon GX. There we go, Elijah. Making our own luck. Nothing to be scared of. Boom. my friend Roger P you're up next sub your kids sub your wife <laughs> battle styles vivid voltage let's go Roger are you playing in the regionals coming up no I'm just vending well uh vending booth there what am I playing but duty calls hound doom jealous sub everything Uh, breaks for next week. Not. Nah, uh, we're gonna take a few weeks off, unfortunately. So just make sure to follow along in the Discord, and I'll let you guys know when they are coming back. I'm going to streak at school and various other places with fan clan written on. <laughs> I can't even read all that. <laughs> oh, the mullet man. Blesses all in leg. Come on, battle styles. That is not okay. I grabbed Fusion Strike. Now I grab Battle Styles. I know I missed Fire Pulls. We've had some really good pulls so far. Elijah just had a banger with the Glaceon. Shiny. Colossal Hollow. Good to see you too, Pocket Bronx! Good timing, Roger. We're fixing your packs right now. Trying to. Oof, duh. Keep it going. Can you only order packs when the stream isn't live? Uh, you, we just don't have any packs listed right now. Uh, Cause it won't, it'll be a couple weeks before we can uh, do this again. Battle Styles is cold. The fail packs are cold. Counting my bulk at 2,000 brilliant stars. Counting. Oh, nice. Sandaconda. Keeping it going. Just fail pack after fail pack. Expecting any more Arceus V boxes? Unfortunately, not. We got quite a few of them. And they lasted a couple days, surprisingly. Stalin V, there's one, finally. Um, but yeah, they were, only, they were up on our website for, I think three days they were up. But they sold out pretty quick, unfortunately. Dis 
despite having so many. And a Cricketune V. There we go. There we go, Roger. Now we can move on to Vivid Voltage. 15 booster packs and didn't pull a single hit. Ah. That's rough. Jolteon. Astro Radiant pre-orders for people. I got an email. Yeah, um, it should be usually uh, like three or four days before release. We ship them out. We generate all the labels and prep all the boxes ahead of time to make things go faster. Keep up things as efficient as possible. But Pokemon gets mad if you ship things out too early. So Zapdos Hollow. Crickets. All right, we'll try these Fusion Strike Packs, because why not? Oh, uh, thanks, Bethan. Bethan. I appreciate that. Thanks for being here. Fusion Strike out. Chandelure VMAX, not there. There we go. We turned it into three hits. Just like that. Boom. Thank you very much, Roger. How do I enter? Uh, we will do the stream in like, I'm hoping for two weeks from today. So you'll just have to be here to enter. You don't necessarily have to stay the whole time to win, but you'll have to be here to enter. Cricket tune. Uh, I should, I can't. Handle. I should. All right, Brent. Brent M. We pulled something amazing for you last week. Shining Fates, Evolutions, and Guardians Rising. Chandelure is definitely one of my favorites. Yes, very close. Sometimes it does, it's just kind of rotating all the time. Wilmer and Probass. Probopass. Um, but yeah, Chandelure is absolutely, I mean, it's it's a light fixture. It's just amazing. Primeape, a monkey that wears boxing gloves. How can you get, how can you get past that? Upside down wishy-washy. Nice, there we go. Um, Arcanine's up there. I love Chandelure. Nothing yet. Nothing for Evolving Skies as of yet, unfortunately. Lunala. Getting the regular VMAX. Might be a booster box search for the alternate art. Yeah, and the new character rare that was released looks absolutely gorgeous too. Gengar getting some love. Shining Fates. Oh, awesome, Wickers. I'm glad they finally got there. It's a long trip. Grimmsnarl, VMAX, Shiny, and Cramorant, VMAX. Bang, bang. Double banger. Woo! Pokemon of the day, wishy-washy. You're not wrong. Grimmsnarl, VMAX, Shiny. SBN, VMAX, Alternate Art. Nice. It's a gorgeous card, though. Three print will cure this. I sure hope so. It is, uh, Evolving Sky is super expensive right now for a booster box. You can still find packs at MSRP. You have to put bubble wrap around the bulk. I would recommend wrapping it, uh, wrapping them in bundles of 100. More Peko VMAX, nice. Not necessarily bubble wrap. You could wrap it in, you know, cling wrap or paper if you wanted to do paper. Uh, but that way it doesn't shift all around in the box and get damaged. That is very true. Cheaper to buy 10 of the Arceus collections. Machamp! Upside down dub trail. Evolutions pack number two! Double buckets! Ah, oh, welcome back, Victor. Hope you had a good vacation. Growlithe and a Mewtwo. Can we get something else? Did you sneak peek Astro Radiance? Yeah, I opened up my booster box and recorded it. So that'll come out Friday morning. It was... Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Hey, Polyrath Hollow, nice. 
Uh, it was really, really good. Uh, I think it's, I think it's an above average box. And you're really gonna like it. It was so good. <laughs> oh, I love Evolution's packs. Rip them open. Let's try a couple hidden fades, because why not? Worked out well before. Mr. Man. Pulled that Glaceon before. Me too, Brent. Me too. I think it'll happen. Hey, nice Scyther. Baby Shiny and an Eevee Hollow. All right. There we go, Brent. There we go. Doug Trio is the original troll rare. <laughs> you might not be wrong. You might not be wrong. Beedrill could be up there too. Unless you're talking about specifically base. There we go. Five hitters. Hope it's going to be better than what we were thinking. Yeah, I was really happy with the, the pull rates from the box. And I think that trainer gallery really kind of brings a whole nother setting. A whole nother thought. Once you're opening up these boxes, it feels... It feels like you're getting hits. You know, it doesn't feel like... I mean, I've, I've opened up some bad boxes before. Like, Evolving Skies with two Trevenant... Or a Trevenant V and a Garbodor V and a Trevenant V Max. And that's it. Three or four Ultra Rares. And that's it. So... You going to carry the Pogo set? Yes! We got lots that are going to be coming. I'll get those up for pre-order soon. Uh, once I get confirmed allocations. Kurt and Jaeger! Kurt and Jaeger! Let's go! Fusion Strike. Chilling Pain. Shining Fates. Let's do it! The new Snorlax is gorgeous. One of the most gorgeous cards I've seen in a long time. I say that a lot, but... It's, it's amazing. Fusion Strike Rillaboom V. I don't know what that singing voice was, but I will never do it again for you guys. Chilling paint. More Eevee reverse hollows. Echoing Horn and Scolipede. Come on, Porygon Z, hello. Do do. Shining Fates. <laughs> I haven't heard that one before. Ugh. Shining Fates usually has good pull rates. I will never do it again. That was, in fact, a lie. <laughs> yes. I probably will end up doing it again at some point. Oh no! <laughs> Zero Aura V Alt Art incoming! Let's go! Chilling Pain, Curtain Jaeger, boom! Oh, my favorite card from Chilling Rain. There it is. Woo! That is a good looking alternate art. Absolutely gorgeous. Congratulations, Kurt and Jaeger. Big hitter. Yamper, baby shine. Woo! Do the celebrations. Cards count as hollow rares. Yeah, if they're a hollow rare. Yep. We do not count them as common uncommon. Hey, Scorch. And a more Peko VMAX. Double banger again. Woo! Wow. Wow. I'm gonna have to get more sleeves real quick. Wasn't expecting to pull this well. So yeah, it does feel really good when you finally pull a good card. That was a big hitter. Spinarak and a Thievul Hollow. Last pack magic. Woo! Coughing and a Cinderace V to end it. Not bad. Curtin Jaeger. There we go. Hey, Steve, what's going on? Everybody say hi, PKMNCast. PKMNCast in the house. Miss you, Steve. Look at that beautiful Zero Aura V. Absolutely gorgeous. Woo! Rip, rip, bang, bang.
<sighs> Where's my, my bag? Oh, I can't even pronounce that. Zurihan the heel guy? What's going on, my friend? I'm sorry, I probably butchered that. Big hit, big hit, Curtin Jaeger. Congratulations, thank you so much. Carlos. Carlos has the Hidden Fates packs. And Carlos has had some serious Hidden Fates pack luck in the past. We'll see if it continues. I'll see you at regionals in Milwaukee. You bet you will. I'll be there. I can't wait. I can't wait. We're gonna have a good time. Moltres and Zapdos and Articuno. We should definitely do something together. Any double bangers, asteroids? Yes. Yes. I think there were double buckets of holiness. It was good. I am uh, very excited for that Eevee. Yeah, it looks amazing, the Radiant Eevee. Oh, I'm happy. Part hey, Gimble Shiny, let's go. Part of me is happy that it's a promo, uh, and part of me is not because I, I wanted to chase it, but I think it's okay. There'll be other cards to chase, obviously. The big three. Oh, thanks, Jeremy. I appreciate that. Rarest or most unique card you own? The rarest one is probably, uh, I've got a... Uh, Matang Shiny, uh, PSA 9. Wish it was a 10. Um, first edition Shiny Charizard, a PSA 9 Crystal Charizard. Those are probably like the biggest hitters I've got. Upside down Kangaskhan and a Weezing. Let's see some Hidden Fates Fire. Off to a decent start so far. If we can get a Full Art Shiny, we'll be better than an ETB already. Magikarp and a Snorlax. Love that Gibble Shiny. I love all the baby shinies. Hidden Fates was such a great set. Oh, and a Riolu Shiny. Carlos. Last time you had all Hidden Fates, we pulled a ton of full art shinies. And now we're pulling all the baby ones for you. Make a card from the set, a promo. Yeah, I mean, part of it is good, and part of it's like, oh, I wanted to chase that upside down Metapod and a Jesse and James. How do you guys add other people when you reply on YouTube? It's a fair question. Beldum Shiny, holy buckets. We're baby shiny machining. I don't know if that's a thing. That's what we're doing right now. Just baby shinies left and right. Oh, and we are gonna get a full art shiny. Oh, like it rock GX. What a busted 10 pack opening. Four baby shinies, one regular art, and a full art Lycanroc GX. That is super, super hype. Awesome. Congratulations, Carlos. Oh, that is so good. How do you handle being noticed in public? Do you prefer a normal human interaction instead of asking for an autograph photo? Uh, I mean, usually people just come up and say, I, I guess if I don't, I don't know how to really answer that. Um, I prefer, yeah, I like normal interaction. I think it's great to meet everybody in the community. If somebody wants an autograph or a photo, then yeah, absolutely, no problem. Um, it would probably be reciprocated. What's up, Jones Drew? All right, let's keep this good luck going with Robert Y. Robert Y with some team up packs. And some hidden fates. Holy buckets. Let's pull something good. Let's pull something good. Ooh, Pidgeotto with airmail. Weedle! Needle King. Magic school bus voices. <laughs> Boom. Alright. Come on, team up. Jasmine Pinsir really, really, really would love to pull that alternate art. Latios and Latios. Close to 66.5. Ooh, crazy. Blastoise Reverse Hollow, there we go. It's got a little bit of value to it. We take that. I told my boss to subscribe and he told me to get back on the phone. <laughs> Bosses are the best. 
Ramon, Team Up, Ferrothorn, and Mimikyu. Have you opened the packs for Jose M? I don't think I... Nope, not yet. Coming up soon. Galvantula. Oh, that is super cool. What's going on, Chad? Ralts, baby shiny. Ralts, baby shiny. No problem, Brent. Vaporeon Hollow. All right. What do you think of players at regionals, internationals getting V Star markers graded? Can they do that? Do they grade V Star markers? That's interesting. Grass energy. I mean, I guess they grade everything nowadays, so. That is interesting for sure. Caterpie and Jesse and James. All right, I gotta get some more sleeves. And some more packs. Weird flex, but hilarious. That is very interesting to me. Very interesting that people would get these star markers graded, but I guess it's definitely it's possible. All right, Robert, let's keep it going. Let's fail it up. Reverse Hollow Pidgeotto. Genesec V Alternar makes me smile every time. I can get behind that. Star you in Nine Tails. PSA will grade your high school diploma if you pay that. <laughs> Might just take you, what, uh, 18 months to get it back? Articuno Reverse Hollow, not bad. Team Up has a lot of really cool cards in it. A lot of, like, cool hollow rares. Getting my Pat Flynn signed V-Star card graded. Nice! That's a good one to do. Come on, Robert! What's up, K-Dubs? How are you doing? I played against John Ang, and he had a V-Star poker chip. Nice. Did you just play against him in Indy? Was he playing uh, Beedrill? I wanted a graded sub to Danny Phantom v -Star. Somebody was showing me, uh, I think it was assigned energy that I gave them. Articuno Hollow, not bad. That they got graded, I think. I forget who that was. Who was that? I'm going to keep going with some more Hidden Fates. Robert, we're struggling here for you, so we're just going to keep losing money for you. Where are the Metal V-Star markers? Fighting energy. He's playing the bees. There you go. Yeah, I thought that was his testing group with Isaiah and Rahul. Sam Chen. Wimpod. Baby Shiny. It's a very, very fun deck to play. I'm glad it did well. And good timing for it, really, too. Hey, Mewtwo. All right, Robert. We at least got a uh, GX. Let's see if we can get something else. Pulled an alternate Charizard V the other day. Nice! Very cool. Nice pull. Happened to crack into my bulk from Los Angeles yet. Uh, Taylor, you would want to message uh, Papa Blastoise on Instagram or shoot us an email at coliseumco at gmail.com and we can follow up with you. I'm sure that they have. Um, it takes usually two or three days, business days, to sort through it. So if it arrived last Friday, and a Rowlet shiny. All right, well, at least we got a few baby shinies. Eh, I'm gonna keep going though. <laughs> Cause why not? Could do a little bit better. Um, but yeah, two to three days. So they're probably just going through it today, if not already like 
finished with it. Vaporeon! You going to post ETB Astro Radiance once the day comes more? What do you mean? Like, am I going to gab I, baby shiny? Like, to buy? To order? Uh, we will have more once the set releases. Yeah, we sold out of our pre-orders. But we'll have more ETBs when the set releases. Kangaskhan. All right, well, at least we got another baby shiny. That was a lot of pulls. A lot of pulls. Thank you, Robert. I would have liked to get something a little bit better. Oof, duh. Boys are done with school. What's up, Kevin? How are you doing? School's out already? May 11th. Wow. That's super cool to sell. Yeah, we'll have more once the set comes out. We sold out of our initial um, pre-order, but we will have more. For sure. All right, let's see here. Who's next? All right, we got Fusion Strike all over the place. Fusion Strike out, let's go. Are you tracking in silly product again with this set? Haven't been on Discord lately. Uh, I was just asking Dr. Gamester. I'll have to talk to Dr. Gamester and see if we want to do that. I'm not going to have a whole lot of time because of the regional event to try and break into everybody else's stuff. So I'll see if he wants to compile it or not. Um, it's a lot of work. Ah, Power Tablet Secret Rare, let's go. Woo. Nice gold pull. There you go, Frankie. But it would be interesting to uh, continue calculating that stuff. It just took, last time it took hours and hours and hours and hours. It was a lot. Mu V alternate art income, calling it now. Okay, let's do it. Landorus holla. Power Tablet Gold is is super hype. Power Tablet is a good card. Valerian Obstagoon Hollow. Back to back Hollow hits. And Grim Snarl Hollow. Wow. Plenty of Hollows. I don't mind collecting data, I just have to set aside the time. Yeah, that's the hard part, right? <laughs> Finding the time to do it. Especially because it gets, it does get flooded. And obviously you want it to because you want more pulls. You want more data. But as more comes in and more come in, if you don't stick on top of it, it's like trying to go back and catch everything. It's a lot. Gudra. Ah, oh, thanks PT. Thanks for stopping by my friend. Guys, if you are just getting here, if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button for me, see if we can get to 300 likes. Another Grimstone hole. No idea you're based out of Rockford, born and raised in Chicago. Oh, nice. Um, we are based in Wisconsin, actually. We uh, team up with a store out of Rockford for the bulk. Oh, let's try some other packs. We got the secret rare power tablet, but we can do better than that. 66, 4, 20. Thanks, Mike. Ha, ha, ha. Landris. Lots of hollow hits. They're going to be booster boxes of the Pokemon Go set. Just ETBs and uh, other promo boxes, other collection boxes. Pikachu V. Gold. Can you explain this knowledge if you're willing to estimate what percentage of secret rares from Sword and Shield would actually grade a PSA 10? Ooh, I have no idea. That's. I'd have to. I mean, it would really just depend on. You'd have to look at the population report to see how many are submitted and then just kind of divide that by the amount that are 10. 10. And that'll give you at least a rough estimate. 
We'll do a couple more, yeah. Can I take bulk to Rockford? Um, if you want to send us an email, I think you can do that. Yes. We just have to arrange it. Watching from Philippines at 3 o'clock in the morning. Oh, thanks, Raymond. I appreciate that. Angus kind. Fusion striking out. Wisconsin. Vigavolt. Really, I want to get everybody three hits. Only an hour away. Yeah, definitely saves on the shipping. Although, I was driving this morning, and I couldn't believe... And this may be like... Oh, Danny, that's nothing. Gas was up to 4.30 a gallon here. Absolutely insane. Four dollars and thirty cents. Crazy. Starmy Hollow. Woo! This is a fusion strikeout. Started out strong with that gold power tablet. My Celtics are gonna clamp on your bucks today. All oh, the smack talk is here. Oh, I sure hope not. Abominable V. Oh, Celtics are playing good. Bucks aren't doing ourselves any favors. Shooting 35% from the field all the time. It's been a good, good series. Very entertaining. Hopefully we can pull it off, but it'll be close. Nice reverse hollow battle VIP pass. All right, well, we got three hits at least. We'll take it. Above average is what we're trying to get to all the time. Over six bucks here in Southern California. That's nuts. That is absolutely bonkers. Six bucks for a gallon of gas. Poof, duck. Ugh. All right, Jose M. Let's go. Hidden Fates, Shining Fates, Cosmic Eclipse. Poof. Fun, fun, fun. A strike is a hit on your bowl in bowling, though. That is, sir. That is very true, yes. Chunky Pikachu. Warriors have so many free wins throughout the years. Warriors are really good, though. Really good. Oh, we can do better than that. Just one Pikachu? I mean, I know it's only two packs, but come on. I drive an EV. Lucky! Smart. Smart decision. You must have known this was coming. You knew it. I don't drive much at all lately. I don't blame you. Not with those prices, right? Here comes Team Rocket! Xerneas EX. There we go. Hey! There you go, David. We added some for you. Because why not? We added a couple of additional celebrations packs. Let's see if we can get something from Shining Fates. Hey, Evital! Amazing rare! Nice. Very nice. Pulling from my heat. They had a huge win last night. That was nuts. Both games last night, just blowouts. Boss's orders. Absolute blowouts. Yeah, David, I remember you, of course. Oh, baby. Ah, Guzman Hello Hype! Oh, my goodness. Ooh, what a beautiful full art pull. Oh, that is super cool. Guzma and Hala. Wow. I love those tag team full art supporters. That is so good. Oh my goodness. Holy buckets. Absolutely beautiful. Ah, uh, thanks, John Jauntus. Thank you so much. Ooh, nothing in Hidden Fates, but still, that really, really cool pull there. We take that. Wow, that is gorgeous. Thanks, David.
Blue Jackets fan. I used to be an NHL fan back in the day. I don't have any NHL teams here. I, I can't support the Blackhawks. So uh, I was a fan of the Buffalo Sabres back in the day when they had Dominic Hasek as their goalie. I liked Miroslav Shatan. Alexi uh, Zitnik. They were good. Evolving skies for Olivia. Let's go. But yeah, that's when uh, I enjoyed NHL. I haven't watched much of it since then, unfortunately. Umbreon V. Only so much time for sports, you know? Only so much time. Umbreon V. Let's keep it going, Olivia. Ah, oh, thanks for being here, Kevin. Pack number two. Hi, Dragon Hollow. Uh, my YouTube says, no data. The stream will end shortly unless you restart in your streaming software. So if I get booted, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. If I get booted. It's done that before and it's been fine. Palpitoad, Charpedo. Altar, let's go. That would be nice. I would really... Yeah, now it says excellent connection. Alternate art. Let's go. Come on. Switching cups. Darn. Only time for Star Wars and Pokemon. May the fourth be with you. We're a week late. Galarian Moltres and a Pinster. We'll do a couple more. Evolving Skies packs because it's a good day. Lasiro, what's going on, my friend? Welcome. Bala, mine's going really good. How's yours going? Lilligant. Yeah, it's a lot to keep up with right now. And I gotta watch my brewers. So, it's tough to keep up with it all for sure. YouTube Danny has the most data. Ah, so good! <laughs> that was so clever. Oh my goodness. That's off to you, my friend. Must be getting ready to pull for fire. Who would like some fire? That Guzman Hollow is hype, but Evolving Lies is not. Do I think the Buck series will go to seven games? Okay, so let me tell you what my wife told me. She told me that there was this dog. This is how she bases her decisions. Hopefully she's not watching right now. Um, but she said she bases her based her decision off of something that she saw on, I don't remember if it was Twitter or Facebook or wherever it was. Uh, but there was this dog who was uh, shooting baskets into two hoops. One of the hoops had a Bucks logo, Zorark hollow, and one of the hoops had a Celtics logo. And the dog made the basket in the Bucks logo for their first shot. The second shot went into the Celtics logo. The third shot went into the Bucks logo. The fourth shot went into the Celtics logo. And the jump will follow. Fifth and sixth shots went into the Bucks logo. So we are going Bucks and six. That's how I guess we have made our decision. Bucks and six. Evolving Liar. We got an Umbreon out of five packs. That's it. Thanks a lot, Olivia. Hopefully you enjoy a little bit extra bulk and a few extra hollow rares. Oofta. The TikTok dog. Oh, you know what I'm talking Okay, so it was on TikTok. There you go. You know what I'm talking about. Is that accurate? That's what she told me. I didn't see it, so. Happy belated birthday to your son, Aaron. I missed that comment, but same thing for me. Bucks for the win. I sure hope so. Great way to pick the winner. Sometimes you just do that, you know? Sometimes that's what works best. <laughs> it's no different than, like, the brackets. Danny V! Oh, Olivia. Sometimes a lot of people are, like, the people who win brackets sometimes are the people who just, like, the mascot the most. Danny V has got some Vivid Voltage and Eevee Heroes. We haven't done Eevee Heroes yet, so this will be a lot of fun. Thank you for saying happy beat it to my son. He freaked out. Oh, no problem. Oh, thank you. That's really nice. I think your son is amazing. Alistair followed by an Alistair. <laughs> Let's go. Full art Alistair gang. Does Danny have a TikTok? Not currently. Maybe eventually we'll add it. I can barely keep up with YouTube content. And I'm bad at it. So I really appreciate the 66,426 people who have 
given me a chance and subscribed. You guys are the real MVPs. Are you opening prepaid packs? Yes. Yeah, this is a, a pack break. People get to build their own pack break. Nessa. All right, moving on to EV Heroes. One big hitter out of Vivid Voltage. Alistair is pretty good. Anything as long as it's not the Warriors. Ooh, it'll be interesting. The Warriors are good. They make it... They make it look tough. They're the only team that's up 3-1 right now. Everything else is... Well, I guess the Heat are up 3-2 now. Nothing there. Or 3-1. No, 3-2, yeah. That dog was incredibly inaccurate on the NHL predicting. Why do you have to say that to me? Just let me believe. Just let me believe. Hey, Leafy on VMAX. There we go. Danny Fantalk. There we go. Already got the name picked out. I'm waiting for EV heroes to appear. Yeah, we're gonna have quite a few of them now in the last several packs because they went, they went quick. I struggle to open. I know I do too. <laughs> and there's like a trick to it. Like you pull the tab. I just always, I never think about it. Never ever think about it. And it doesn't work for me anyways. Can I buy a UPC for retail? Yeah, if you can find one. That's the tough part. I was looking the other day on TCG player, literally this morning, and there were two left, Umbreon V, or three left that were under $400 on TCG player. Absolutely insane. Open Japanese packs from the bottom. All right, I'll do it on the next one, as long as I remember. Oof, done. All right, flipping it open on the bottom. Oh. Huh. That was easier. Thanks, Mike. Always looking out. Ante! The hollow pattern on Japanese cards are just so much better. Would you do a combo video with Tom Grassi? If he wanted to, that would be fun. Uh, I had to hold myself back. <laughs> oh, Flareon V. Nice. Not bad. I had to hold myself back after the Packers lost and to the 49ers in the playoffs. I was literally like, I'm going to go home and I'm going to record a video and I'm going to title it. This is not about Pokemon. This is about the Packers. And I was like, but nobody's going to watch it. Nobody's going to like it. And I was just going to go off out of frustration about the Packers, about how angry I was. It was a very doom and gloom moment, but I withheld. I didn't do it. But yeah, if Tom Grassi is watching, let's collab. Let's do it. Thanks, Danny V. Have you seen first Astro Rage Booster Box? Um, I saw a link to it before. Um, I probably won't watch it just because I won't watch any until Friday because that's when Pokemon said they can come out. And I like to hold true to Pokemon's requests because they've done so much for me. So I'll probably watch it then. I'll watch other openings. Mine comes out on Friday. So I'll, I'll want to compare and start looking at pull rates. Roberto San M. Kind of surprised you don't collect sports cards either. Uh, very, very seldomly. I used to collect baseball cards, hardcore. Um, I don't know what to what to look for, what packs to buy. It's very overwhelming. Thanks so much for the UPC box you gave away to Dr. Applesauce. Oh yeah, of course. Dr. Applesauce, such a nice guy. Everybody should check out Dr. Applesauce. Very, very nice. Super humble. J Japanese cards on your channel? I know, right, Derek? <laughs> Mixed it up last week based off of Fan, well, I shouldn't say fan, but um, channel, community, suggestions, requests? Butterfree VMAX! Has anyone said you look like Roman Atwood? Um, no, but I have gotten a lot of, a Drygon. Um, I look like, oh, what's his name? From AEW, Orange Cassidy? Orange Cassidy, I think? Roman Atwood, I have not had many comparisons. Tapu Coco, but I'll take it. I like applesauce. There you go. Thanks, Johnny. I appreciate that. Muck. Would have gotten 10,000 likes if I complained about the Packers. Maybe I should. This is not about... I'll probably have to... Maybe I'll do one if the Bucks lose. But that's not going to happen. Repeat. Oh, I just get so invested 
What's going on, Mudkip's Revenge? How are you doing? Hey, Butterfree V and a VMAX. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. We haven't done any fail brilliant stars yet. This isn't even really a fail, but we're gonna do it anyways, because why not? We need Shiny Legends, Generations, and Champions Path. Fine! You are so needy, Mike, but I will do it for you. Ah, oh, <laughs> Charizard V-Star. Did you guys see that deck in Indy the other day? Oh my goodness. The Charizard V-Max coming up big. That was a lot of fun. Super cool. There you go, Roberto. We'll take it. That's how you go below from below average to above average. Another day off going through some inventory. Can you do that for me? I will pay you in pizza. Black and white borders. Let's go. You resemble Damian Lewis. Ah, oh, thank you. I think, I think I know who that is. Hopefully I'm thinking of the right person. Oh. All right, James S. I don't know if James S is in here. He probably doesn't even know I'm doing a break for him because <laughs> I never emailed him back. But he's get, he wanted some team up, some breakthrough, ancient origins, flash fired evolutions. Ooh. Here you go, James. Let's do this. Let's go. Simisage, Parasect. Are you going to do any of the side events at Milwaukee? I don't know. I'll be there vending. So I definitely will be there. But we'll see. Cyndaquil. Let's try... Oh, we're really not going team up yet. We got to do evolutions first. And then ancient origins. We'll save team up. He really wants that alternate art Latios and Latias. I mean, who doesn't? But... Fanny Dantump! Thanks. Sand true. Doug Trio. Major Winters and Brand of Band of Brothers. Oh, okay. Ah, Venusaur EX. There we go. I know who you're talking about. It's almost same as Brilliant Stars. That's what I figured, yeah. He'll need it. Yeah, it's gonna be rough, but hopefully. Pull something good. Volcarona, ancient trait. These sets, it only takes one big, big hit and you're like, worth. Ooh, Registeel. All right, let's try the team up packs. I could go on a rant with you about the Packers performance in that game. It was not even performance. They played one drive. Ferrothorn, one drive. They were like, first drive of the game. Cool, we're done. Should I wait to pick up Evolving Skies ETVs? Ugh, it's tough because they did reprint Vivid Voltage and Darkness Ablaze, so they could very well reprint Evolving Skies one day. Age slash Hollow. I mean, if you can find them for close to retail, I would, I would go for it. How can I get some of your Evo packs? Uh, if you're in the Discord, I'll let you guys know when the uh, pack breaks go back up. Charmeleon, Articuno Hollow. Um. But yeah, I'll let you know when the pack breaks go back up. So that way, if you want some evil, it'll be on there. Fattest ladybug I've ever seen in my life. Trying to get my garden. <laughs> Pull an Orbital. We need to open Vivid Voltage quick. Ah, oh, Melodicolo. All right, well, we got a Venusaur EX. I'm going to grab some more team up. It's fun to open. Fun to open. Team up is fun. Breakthrough. Ooh, Gengar. Andrea, what's going on? Or Andrea. Evolving Skies is worse than Chilling Rain. 
Oh, uh, yeah, I've had some bad luck with both of them. Zorark break, there we go. Can I have a link to your Discord? Posted it before, maybe Dr. Gamester can post it again. I don't know if Mocha's in here anymore. Are you wearing a Lion King shirt? <laughs> I am, yes. <laughs> yes, yes, I am. Very charm. Oh, Parasect. Love your videos on Evos, guys. Oh, thank you so much. Needle Queen. Come on, team up. Give us something. Well, thanks for being here. Dana and Mimikyu. Oof, duh. That was rough. All right. I wonder if I won the Evo Skies box. You'll find out on Friday. And then we'll do it again. Because still no reprint. Hi, right, James. We're going to keep trying. We'll get there. Left a little bit of them. All right, James C. is up next. Thanks, Doctor. All right, James C., we've got some Shining Fates. Whole lot of Shining Fates. Team up has some rough pull rates. Yeah, I mean, that's when you could get, you would get five to six hits per box, around the five and a half, and your big hit would be a full art. Thanks, Ashton. Thanks for stopping in. Boss's orders. Why does my LGS sell Evolving Skies single booster packs for $6? I have no idea. It is possible, I guess, that they got... Hey, Senna Scorch VMAX Shiny. Let's go. Upcharge from distribution. You could ask them. See what they say. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if they paid, like, an upcharge from distribution. That's possible. But I have you pointed out to them that it's available for MSRP on the Pokemon Center website. Stopping Brilliant Stars will Brilliant erupt before Evolving Skies. I don't know. We'll see. Ditto V Shiny! Let's go! Wow! Two full art shinies. Nice job, James. Yeah, the Brilliant Stars restock is super small. I could not believe how small it was. I was like, is this a mistake? This is all that's coming? rough. Bird Keeper? Wow. James getting some fun hits. More subs, more cards. Biggest pull today so far. Ooh. Rillaboom Shiny. Uh, we've had a couple of good ones. We've had the Guzman Hala Full Art. We had the Glaceon V Full Art Shiny from Hidden Fates. There's been other ones too. We had the Zera Aura V alternate art that was pulled. Charging 35 for the new Arceus V box. Yeah, that doesn't surprise me. The Cosmic Eclipse box is obviously a, a real boom V Max shiny. Three full art shinies. Wow. I think when a lot of LGSs see the Cosmic Eclipse pack in there, they're like, whoa, this box is going to be worth more, without even really doing a lot of research on it. Also, the Arceus V itself is selling for like eight, nine dollars because of how playable it is. Galarian Weezing, not bad. This is a really good, really good stretch right there. Not bad at all. Thank you, James. Zero Aura was super nice. We'll take it. 59 subs. You know what that means? We're just gonna round up. Gonna have fun. Giving away Astral Radiance packs. In two weeks. Two weeks from today. I think. That's the goal. 137 here in South Africa. That's not bad. Got some celebration or Diana V. Sorry, celebrations and Evo. What's going on, RJ? How are you doing? No problem, JC. Thanks for being here, my friend. Glad we got some good hits. 
How do I get into the giveaway? Come back in two weeks and I will have a button that you click and then you will be entered. This is just to kind of total up how many packs we're going to be giving away. And then we're going to open them and give away all the hits. Professor's Research Full Art. Yeah, people already bought these packs. We do a weekly pack break. Of course, now it's not going to be for a few weeks. So make sure you join the Discord. Cleffa and Flying Pikachu. Bang, bang. What happened with last week's like to card giveaway? That is um, adding up right now. So we added another professor's research. So that was around, I just let it keep going. So it's 1800 likes. So that's 180 booster packs of Astral Radiance that we're giving away. And we're gonna add that along with this and probably round up to at least a case. Cause why not? Pikachu V Max, flying Pikachu V Max. I think you'll be giving away another Evo Skies booster box this week. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'm going to keep giving it away, not until the reprint is announced, but until the reprint actually arrives. So if they're like, hey, we're going to have an Evolving Skies reprint in the middle of July, then I'll just keep giving boxes away until it gets here in the middle of July. So it's not just when it's announced. Ah, Mewtwo EX. Nice. Super hype. How many? So a case is 216 packs. So we'll do at least that. Last meeting of the day. Now I can focus on watching. Oh, thanks, Caitlin. Hey, Blastoise EX. Not bad. There we go. There we go, Diana. Got some good hits. Two full art professor's research is pretty cool, too. Plus the Mewtwo. Plus a Clefum. Blastoise EX and the Evo pack. A case? Why not? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Why not? It's all because of you guys. Gonna make it rain with AR packs, you bet. Throw them all up in the air. All right, we're saving Charlie. We're gonna do Jeremy C. And Jeremy C, shout out to Skyler. What's going on, Skyler? Jeremy C and Skyler, hopefully watching together. Hopefully you guys are here. If not, definitely watching the Bob. We're gonna start with celebrations. Let's pull something good for Jeremy and Skyler. Like this, Zachrom, Lunala. Blastoise, best Pokemon ever. I'm sure some people would agree with you. I know one person who would for sure agree with you. We're redoing those two celebrations packs. <laughs> with three more. Are you breaking every pack or sending sealed? I'm going to break. I'm going to break the packs. Dark Gyarados and Flying Pikachu. Nice. It's just a fun way to kind of interact with the stream and then showcase what's inside the set. Can you pull Matthew M next? I definitely can. It is next already. So I can definitely do that. Hey, Garchomp. Nice. We are coming down to it. So there's only, I think, five people left. Pop a Blastoise. That's right. Matthew Moriton. We better pull some fire for you. And a Mew EX. Let's go. All right, Fusion Strikeout. Jeremy and Skyler coming in hot. I like that Gyarados, me too. Hey, Bolton V. Hit after hit after hit. Can we pull something wild? Holy buckets of cramped hands. <laughs> That's right. We'll do it. Ooh, Maractus. Maractus is such a fun Pokemon name to say. Just a fun name to say. Ooh, uh, Mew V, all right. We will take it. Another hitter. See if we can get something out of Brilliant Stars. 
Bolton, good boy. <laughs> Macy's Day Parade Pikachu, nice. You guys are so smart. Bye, Beryl. Bibberl. Is Brilliant Stars getting a reprint later this month? It actually already is shipping out and it's ridiculously small. So hopefully they do another one because this wave is not going to impact any sort of pricing on singles or sealed product, I don't think. It is very, very small. But I believe you can still get booster boxes on Pokemon Center website, so I don't think we have to be too concerned about- Come on, Brilliant Stars. Give us a hit. Sneasel and a Lifer. Hey, Vaporeon. There we go. Not too bad. Quite a bit of hits. Thanks, Jeremy. Thanks, Skyler. Shout out to you both. Red sleeves incoming. Look at all those hits. Whew. Very cool. Is now a good time to offload singles from Sword and Shield era before the next gen comes out? It really depends. If you don't unload stuff now that would have competitive connotations to it, you're not going to notice. I mean, it's going to it's going to fall in price for sure, um, and it will stay low for a long time. So unless you plan on holding it for a very very long term. I would definitely um, get rid of any of your competitive stuff now before rotation, before rotation happens, because it's going to be rough after rotation hits. Am I in the giveaway? Uh, so Bobby, you just have to come back. In two weeks, we'll do the giveaway. We'll do the Astral Radiance giveaway. Uh, and then there will be a link that you click to earn your spot. Matthew M, Evolutions, and Brilliant Stars. Let's pull some fire from Matthew M. Offload your shady dealings, that's right. While they're still worth a few bucks. Inteleon is, I mean, that shady dealings for Zyle is one of the best cards ever in a competitive format. And people play it like crazy. Shaman V-Star, let's go. Rotation is what? E-marker? Yeah. So we'll know what rotation looks like in, what is it, just August, probably? Worlds is in August, so that's around the time when they announce rotation. But I think the new set, new season starts in beginning of, oh, it, it's coming up soon. I don't want to tell you and be wrong. Bizarre pack hunt. He is being rotated out, yep. Blunder policy and a Luminean V. That could be good in the upcoming format. Lumine Envy could be really good. Can you show the online codes? I cannot because these are packs that people already paid for, so they may want to use the codes. Simis here. When I open up my own product, I give away the codes, but for these, I don't want to give away people's codes in case they want to use them. We're losing clickball. I know. Why? Moltres Hollow. All right, we got a few evolutions. What's the music song playing? It should be in the description down below, but it's Poke and Chill on YouTube. Reverse Hollow Zapdos and a Hollow Machamp. Nice. Very cool. Charmeleon <laughs> and a dugong. Ooh, you see the fire. Get excited. Luminian V is the prettiest V in Brilliant Stars. I can get behind that. It's a very good looking card. Fester Oak and a Polyrath Hollow. Alright. Matthew, I'm gonna give you a few additional Brilliant Stars packs. Because why not? Machamp VMAX looks sick. Yeah, the alternate art. Oh, I absolutely love it. So goaded. 
Dracovish V is absolutely gorgeous. Ah, oh, thanks, Trevor. Thanks for being here. Wanted to mention how awesome Danny is for supporting other streamers. Oh, thank you so much. You didn't have to say that. Oh, I really appreciate that, my friend. Thank you. It's easy to support when there's good people all over the place. I heard Evolving Skies is confirmed for a re reprint. Yeah, I think a lot of people are saying that. I mean, it depends on what you consider a reprint. Hey, Rapid Strike, Ishifu, and Zamazenta V. Double banger, let's go. Uh, if you consider just more booster packs showing up at Walmart a reprint, then yeah, I guess... Maybe it is. Uh, they could have reprinted more additional packs just to get out there. Uh, there has been nothing about booster boxes, but obviously it can mean, a reprint can mean multiple things. And it really is all about what it is to you, you know, so. Um, I prefer still to go the booster box route. It's a good question though. Uh, I know that the, the tins were a lot of fun to open and I was surprised that the pulls were slightly better. Um, but ultimately the sample size, while it was, you know, a good amount of cards, a good amount of packs, I still don't think it was enough to give us like the perfect sample size. Edgar M. So I would still go booster box route. Celebrations, one Dream League, two EV heroes. Really exciting. Brilliant Stars Wave 3 came and went. Yeah, some of us are... I, I haven't gotten Wave 3 yet. Should be arriving very soon, but it's ridiculous. Ridiculously small. The Cosmic Eclipse reprint. Yeah, exactly. Exactly, Anthony. Yeah. And that could very well be a reprint, or it could just be additional product that was never released in booster boxes. You know, there's obviously additional costs associated with packaging materials and things like that, so who knows? They better have a better reprint than some loose packs in a box. I know, right? What? Oh, Magneton. All right, let's see what we got out of Eevee Heroes. What's up, fella, Chris? How are you doing? Case of tins and strike out on all of them. Yeah, exactly. It has, it, it can happen, because I did, what, six tins, right? That didn't get anything? It is possible. It's all random luck. Florges. Hey, Leafy on V. All right, we'll take it. Three hits, not too shabby. Oh, thank Anthony. Thanks, Anthony. <laughs> oh, and thanks for subscribing. <laughs> I appreciate that, my friend. Really means a lot. All right, I think we got two, four people left. I'm doing good, fella. Fella Chris, I'm doing good. The sun is shining, it's a fun day. We're up to Anthony. Oh, Anthony, I think I just saw you, right? There you are. We got Eevee Heroes, Guardians Rising, and Fusion Strike. Let's go. Come on, Anthony! Wooloo! Or canine. Cool looking rare. Alright, let's try Guardians Rising. Two of the four tins were complete duds for my tins, for my case. That's rough. Ooh, whale lord. Would you be willing to sell time or juggler from the Japanese? I don't know if I have any. I'd have to look. A lot of time I'll get Japanese product in and I'll just kind of leave it in their sealed cases. I forget about it a lot, unfortunately. Or a Corio. Alright, let's try Eevee Heroes. How do you think Astral Radiance compares to Brilliant Stars with just one booster box? Uh, the hits are equally as good, if not better. Um... I mean, it's, it's up for determination on the set. I do think that the Brilliant Stars had a better set list. Anthony, I'm giving you some EV heroes. Um, but, yeah, it was, uh, I think the pull rates are at least the same, if not better. Oh, thanks, True Life and Music. I appreciate that. Come on, EV heroes. What's up, Pokechit? How are you? As I'm shaking my camera. Glacian V.
We need to finish stream with some fireworks. Yeah, I agree. I agree. More so than just a Glacian V, right? RA R -R -R rewind. Ooh, Mars Shadow. Hey, Dr. Applesauce is in here. What's going on, my friend? Woo! Running low on time. And I need to pull fire. Come on, EV heroes. I'm doing really good. Although I would like it more if I could pull something better out of these EV hero packs. But it is possible that just means somebody else is gonna get some absolute fire in a minute here. Eldegoss. Hey, Vaporeon V, there we go. Whew! There's a nice hit. Vaporeon V, full art! Boom, that's better. That's better. There we go, Anthony. All right, next up is Yvonne. And then Charlie and Andy, and then I think we're done. Packing some boxes, story of my life. Been there. I'm a big lurker. This recently has been active. Oh, thank you. I know the feeling. I am a big lurker oftentimes too. It's always nice to just have it going on in the background, you know? Oh, wait, we got Yvonne and Ger Gerardo. Yvonne is a few Hidden Fates packs. All right, three Hidden Fates packs. Axe for fire and got water. That's the secret room. Yep. Hey, Zerka Tree and a Raichu. Let's go. Three packs where it's at. Zerka Tree GX. Full art shiny. Nice. All right. Number two. And a type null. Nice. Can we get something out of all three packs? That would be pretty cool. Full arts are secret rares in EV Heroes. Yep. Japanese sets. The full arts are secret. Holy buckets. And a Lycan Rock GX. Wow, Yvonne. Three packs, four hits. Those are uh, those are some good odds. Wowzes. There we go. Congratulations. I should lurk, but I get invested. I totally get it. Being in the chat and interacting is fun. Yeah, me, I like that too. All right, Gerardo. I gotta fly through these last three. Darkness Ablaze, let's go. Oh, thanks, David. Nice to see you. Thanks, Lilith. Don't be a lurker. Heatran Hollow. I mean, you can look if you want, but it's nice to have you here. Trifecta. Kangaskhan Hollow. Back to back Hollow Pulls for Darkness Ablaze. Holy buckets! I have one Mewtwo V Union sealed or open. I would open it up. I think it's got it's got two Evolving Skies packs in it, right? For the Mewtwo V Union. I think you can still find the V Union boxes out and about at retail locations. Like if you're walking into, maybe go into a Walmart or Target and see if you can find any on the shelves. Hey, let's go, Rainbow Rare Rose. Nice pull. Woo. Nice pull. Charizard V. I think I remember you telling me that story before. Mm 
Volcarona. All right, two packs left. I pulled an alternate art Charizard V from an Umbreon tin. Nice. Hey, Rhyperior V. There we go. We get something else. Two out of eight. Can we do three out of eight? Oh, my net trick. Not bad. Still got the rainbow rare, though. Thank you, Ferrado. All right, Charlie, you. You're on the clock, my friend. Oh, thanks, Kyle. That really means a lot. Thank you so much. All right, Charlie and Andy. Team up and evolving skies. Let's go. Hey, Glaceon V. Nice start. Not a bad start at all. Made it back in time. Yay, Charlie, just in time. So you and Andy left, my friend. Zorark. Scalper. Uh, I would say I guess when it's not in print anymore, you might be okay. It's tough. It's tough because there's so many people who are sealed collectors. And, I mean, there's nothing wrong with getting rid of part of your sealed collection to put it into something else. Eldegos and Melodic. Evolving cries. Hey, yeah, Gordy. All right, two out of five ain't bad. For Evolving Skies. That's not bad at all. Now team up. Let's see if we can pull something and team up. Come on. Evolving Cries. Two out of five ain't bad. Same for Barnes & Noble. Kakuna, Matata. Tapu Coco Prism Star, all right. Evolving Lies, Cries, Never Prize. Oof. All right, come on, team up. Last pack magic. Oh, team up is not being friendly today. I have a few hidden fates packs still. Cordy, is Cordy really a hit? <laughs> right? Wiggly tough GX. Poor Gordy. He just wants to be a full art trainer like the rest of them. Three times. Wow. Bill's analysis. Team up is due for a good hit. Unfortunately, it's going to be a team of striking out this week for that set. Arbok. Well, at least we added a Wigglytuff. Ooh. Team up is rough. All right, Charlie. Thank you very much. We're going to move on to the last one, which is Andy. the last one we have guys thank you so much for being here thanks for hitting that subscribe button thanks for hitting that like button come back tomorrow um we're gonna do a video on toys r us promos andy n with a bunch of evolving skies uh which will be good toys r us promos then friday we've got our astral radiance booster box that'll be a lot of fun in two weeks we're gonna do our astral radiance giveaway so come back for that it's gonna be a lot of fun uh, we're gonna do like 216 packs at least. I'll figure out a number and give away everything to you guys. Are you gonna be at Collecticon in Long Beach this year? I don't think so. It's a long way to travel. Feeble, Seismitoad. 
But I appreciate you guys all being here. Thank you very much. All the new subscribers. Stay tuned. We will be back with live breaks soon. Probably does not appreciate these packs. Andy always leaves me a note telling me which packs to pick from the stack. <laughs> and I'm like, ah, oh, Andy. Hey, Suicune V full art. Let's go. It's just some extra work. But it's always very fun and entertaining. There we go, Andy. Not bad. Let's see if we can get something else here. Melodic. I'm only getting evolving lows at the minute. Metacham V. I mean, if we can get something in this last pack that he wanted Sylveon artwork for, 3 out of 10 is good. 3 out of 10 ain't bad. We got a Reggie Lecky. We can do a few more. I've got time for a few more. Got one minute. I can get through three packs in one minute. Come on, Umbreon, where are you at? You look a lot like Seismitoad. Good time for the music to end. Ooh, come on! I can dream. I know, me too. I'm trying to make it into a reality. <laughs> Wobbuffet. Ugh. Still good for ES. I mean, it's okay. You got a full art. That's pretty cool. A Galarian Moltres. The Alga Hollow. This is what happens. I get into my head and I just want to pull something good. All right, these are the last two. <laughs> oh, this is not the way to go. Come on! No, this isn't the last two. Two more! This is the last two. Sylvia on our work. We're gonna do it! Come on! No, oh, Galarian Zapdos Hollow. You were the chosen one. Oh, Pinsir. Alright, guys. Thank you so much. I gotta go. I appreciate you all very, very much. Until next time, I'll see you soon.